Hey guys, in this video, I'm actually going to show you a AI assistant that I built for real estate investors. Now, what's cool about this assistant is that it has the ability to skip trace properties. It has the ability to do simple lookups, like get the bedrooms, the bathrooms. It can help you get valuation data as well as find rental comps. Well, not really comps, but it can actually help you find rental rates in the area for a property. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do a quick demo. Okay, so I pulled up this property here on Zillow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the address information. I'm gonna hop back over here to N8N. Now, as you can see, I do have it connected here to Telegram. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit test workflow. We're gonna come here and I'm gonna say, give me some info on this house. And I'm going to paste in the address and I'm gonna send it. And as you see, my AI assistant here is working. It's getting the property details and it's going to pass that information back to Telegram. And bam, just like that. So we have the property address that we just looked here. This is the bedrooms. This is the bathrooms. This is the year that it was built. All right. Perfectly lines up with Zillow, right? 4-2, built in 2014. I definitely could add the square footage in here. So that's definitely something I want to do as I upgrade this workflow. So we just did the the uh, generic pull. Let's see, maybe we want to look at this property from a rental standpoint. So maybe we're curious what we would get for rent. So again, I'm going to come back here. Well, I'm going to hit test workflow. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to say, what would this house rent for? All right, again, pasting in the property address, I'm sending it. And just like that, my AI agent is doing the work. It's picking the right tool and it already returned the information. All right, so we have here, this is the property address. Here's the rental range estimates for the property located at the address we just did. Estimated rent range from 1980 to 2350 with a fair monthly rental value of 2160. And if you're wondering exactly how I'm getting that amount, I'm actually gonna show you here in a second. Okay, perfect. Lastly, and I think this is probably one of the most powerful ones for real estate investors is being able to skip trace. All right, so let's do the same thing. So we're gonna say skip trace this house. All right, again, pasting in the address. And oh, I didn't hit test workflow. But anyway, I hit test workflow. It did catch my last message. So it's working on a skip trace tool. So one thing I do want to work on with this flow is I do want to be able to put in memory so that instead of me having to reference the address every time, I can go ahead and just say, hey, give me skip trace the information of that property or give me the value of that property. All right, perfect. And it went ahead and populated. Now I am going to blank out the owner's information number here, just going to protect their privacy. But as you see, it gave me, it has their first and last name and it has three possible phone number matches for this property owner so that the real estate investor can get in contact with this uh, homeowner. Okay, perfect. So now you see how it works and the valuation tool works the exact same way. You put in the address, it gets the value. So you're probably wondering exactly how this works. So let's go ahead and break this down. Okay, so first, as you see, I have my AI agent node here. Well, actually before that, I'm using Telegram as really the front end in order to get the message. Right, and I'm using Telegram because they both have a web app and a mobile app, so it's super convenient. In the future, as I upgrade this, I definitely do want to support the instance to voice chat. So I am going to need to standardize the data before I send it to my AI agent. So let's get into the agent here, right? How's my agent working? Well, first of all, I'm using the OpenAI chat model. I'm using the 4.0 mini because really all this agent really has to do is select the tool. I honestly could probably use Gemini or something even a bit more affordable. Okay, so for my system message, all right, it's pretty simple. So I'm saying you're a helpful assistant. You're chatting with, I give it my name. It has today's date. Now this part here, so because Telegram, because of how Telegram has their text formatting, the we do have to explain to the AI exactly how to structure the text in order to pass it back. Now I did not write this. N8N actually had a template where they had a Telegram hookup already done. So I just moved over to template. So uh, credit to them for providing this part of the system prompt. All right, and for the user prompt, it's pretty straightforward. So you're a friendly real estate assistant eager to chat with me. And I basically just give them very simple instructions. Most definitely it can be improved, but for the proof of concept, it works great. Now you might be wondering why I did not list out the tools here. So in each tool, right? So we just did the skip trace tool. So if I open this here underneath the tool description, you can see that I'm basically telling the AI what this tool is about. So I'm saying call this tool to skip trace and obtain the identity and phone number of the owner of the property when asked by the user. So that way the AI knows what this tool is about. So in N8N, there's a node where you can actually activate a sub workflow. Now I'm actually going to show you here, actually here, I'll show you an example. So in my skip trace flow, 
I open this up, you can see the JSON example that I provided. I have name, street, city, state, zip. So I have all this information here. So when I provided this JSON example, it populated the data back here, right? So all I'm doing is I'm letting it, I'm letting the AI define all this. And basically there's a little button here with some stars, you just click on it, which basically tells N8N that the AI is actually going to define what happens there. And then basically from there, I just give it a very simple description of what this is. But for the address, I, I make sure I do a little bit more so I'm explaining what's happening so the AI gets it, right? So I'm saying, if this is an address you're getting from the user, understand that only this is the street address. And I'm doing the exact same thing, right? So I get the same exact address, but I'm saying, okay, this is the city, this is the state, this is the zip, so it knows. Now, the only thing that I am kind of having here that's a little bit more, it's dynamic, but I'm not letting the AI address it, is the chat ID. So in this case, when I send it to the skip trace tool, it needs to get the chat ID from the original chat. So the AI is doing all of that. So essentially what's happening here, just to recap, we're getting the information in, the AI is understanding what we're doing and it's dynamically mapping the fields for all of these tools. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the tools. Okay, so the first tool that we have here is the skip trace tool, it's very simple. So I'm getting the data, I'm setting the data. And basically what I mean is that when I get it, I just kind of like to have different variables. In this case, you probably don't need it. You could probably just go straight from the execution node to both of these, but I often like to set my data if I want to upgrade my flows in the future. From here, I'm just calling an HTTP request to an Appify actor that's actually doing the skip tracing for me. And I'm merging the data through a combine method, very important. So whenever you're looking to merge, right, there's different types of mode. So I believe by default, it's a pen. So you wanna come in here and click on combine by position. Right, so you have input one and input two, so it combines them by position and then it sends it over to Telegram. All right, so that's exactly how it's happening. Okay, so this is the property value flow. All right, so kind of similar. So, but what I'm doing is in this case, I'm using a company called Rentcast. So this is Rentcast, this is their API. Again, they're, they're a company that provide a production grade API for other, other types of real estate software platforms so that other platforms can pull in data like rent estimates or property value estimates. So essentially what happens is that once, once my agent gets the information and breaks it down properly, it sends it here and I'm calling the, and I'm calling the rent cast, um, API. And you might also notice here, I am also calling the Zillow estimate, uh, Zillow's estimate. So I didn't use an example when I, at the start of the video, but if I did ask for a, uh, valuation estimate, not only would it provide me the rent cast estimate of value, but it would also provide me the Zillow's estimate as well. And then again, from there, I'm just setting the fields, meaning that I'm breaking out the responses, I'm merging them into one item, and I'm sending all of it to te Telegram. Okay, this here is the property details lookup. So you might have noticed that when we did at the start of the video, when we looked at the property details, it was the exact same thing as Zillow. And that's actually because we're populating it from Zillow. Now, Rentcast does provide the ability to get the bedrooms and the bathrooms, but doing it from Appify is just a little bit more affordable per, per pull, per API request rather. So that's why I just went with Zillow for scraping. So same thing, all the property data comes in here. I'm using a set field to just break out the information. So I am using an Appify scraper. I'm using this one here, the Zillow detail scraper. So basically I'm calling this tool and this tool's running and it then passes back all the information. From here, I'm just picking out the information. The Zillow, this scraper returns a long list of information. I don't need all of it. So I'm just breaking out exactly what I need. I'm again, I'm merging it and I'm sending it all to Telegram. And then this here is the rent lookup. It's very similar to the value one, except I'm just not calling the, uh, the Zillow scraper. Although I could because Zillow sometimes does provide a rent estimate. But in this case, again, I'm just calling the rent cast API and I'm basically calling this API right here in order to get the rent estimate. So I'm calling it, I'm getting a bunch of data back. I'm only taking out the fields that I want. I'm merging it. And if you wonder, if you're wondering why I have a merge here, why I didn't just go straight through the um, rent cast straight to Telegram is because I need to get the chat ID. All right, without the chat ID, even when all this information gets returned, it won't know which chat to populate it back into. 
So I'm merging the chat ID here and all the property details and I'm sending it straight to Telegram. So yeah, there you have it. Again, this is the version one of this flow, but I'm very happy with how it came out. So as a real estate investor, you're looking for distressed properties. This is a really cool way to just kind of be able to just punch in an address on the go, get the owner information, get the property information. So a couple of things that we can do to upgrade this flow. Number one, most definitely support voice chat. And I also think number two, include an API so that we can actually have our bot automatically send out an SMS to the property owner asking if they're interested in selling their property. So yeah, make sure you follow along to see how this develops. I'm definitely look forward to showing off the final version of this in the future. So yeah, I hope this video helped you. If you really got some value out of it, I really appreciate it if you like. And by the way, I do have N8N templates available where really all you have to do is download them from Gumroad. You can come in here and just hit import from file. So if you do want to check out some of the templates I have available, definitely check it out in the link in the description. Anyway, thank you for checking out the video.